Hi everyone, Rebecca here. I received my Agendio inserts today. Um, I do realize that these are for personal size uh, rather than A6, but I have been in contact with the company in hopes that they will make A6 size inserts for our community and um, have forwarded them some information that hopefully will help them develop these. There are some you know, a lot of work goes into them coding wise in order to make everything fit properly. So um, we don't have any dates yet, but to keep in mind that they are looking at it as a real possibility this year. So um, I'm excited. So in the meantime, I went ahead and ordered the Agendio inserts in the personal size. I had them start in July because I had already pre-printed my April, May, June inserts from DIY Fish. And I wanted to finish those out because why waste um, paper or money uh, when I don't need to. So I wanted to give you a up close and personal look at the at the pages. So this is Filofax paper. So um, let's not focus on that one. This set all the way to the back is Agendio. So um, it does say on the front July to June. And then at the bottom, it says, uh, you know, if found, please return to. Then um, one thing I did note that I thought was a little bit strange was that the monthly calendars start from July to June of next year instead of like all of 2016 or all of 2017. So keep that in mind. Uh, then there's a lined piece of paper and then it goes right into the monthly view. Now on the personal inserts, I don't know about the A5 because I was only ordering for um, the personal size. These are the options you have. They're the vertical month on one page, okay? However, the calendar dates that are on here, such as birthdays, um, we've got Parents' Day, Valentine's Day, uh, James's birthday, um, my grandson, those are all uh, options that you get to choose. So they have everything from religious holidays to country holidays, um, depending on where you reside. And then you can also put in your own uh, family or friends' birthdays as well. And so far, I haven't seen any limitations to that. And then over on the right-hand side, we have um, an extra page that comes with the monthly that is fully customizable. Uh, down to how you want the, uh, you know, whether you want them in boxes or circles or none or just straight lines or do you want a vertical line like I have. So all of this stuff on the right hand side is customizable, including how many modules or widgets you want to call these. So I could have chosen, made this into one instead of two. Uh, this is one. I could have made this into two or four or five, or whatever. So, um, because I was doing this based on my preference, I put my bills due for the month and then I put to schedule and those are things like car maintenance, things I need to take care of or veterinarian appointments for the dog, um, to connect with, um, to make sure that I'm, I'm staying in contact with family members that don't live nearby so that, um, they aren't forgotten. And then I have a home maintenance section, uh, for unusual recurring um, things that should be taken care of throughout the year. And then there's a monthly goals at the bottom left. And then a um, you can even choose what you want in this field too. You don't have to choose next month's um, calendar. But I also chose it to start on a Monday. So, uh, and then the weekly layout follows it. So the month, then the weeks, then the month, than the weeks, that's how I asked for it. However, you can choose that all the months are together up at the front or all the months are at the back or are mixed in with the weeks. I chose the mixed in with the weeks. Then on the left-hand side, I chose this kind of like block format where I could put in time and date for appointments because I plan to use it more as a schedule. And then I also put in my routine kind of reminders like um, trying to get more, lighting in here so you can see better there we go i hope that's sorry about all the shadowing 
and then I put um, all my tasks that are done. I have, you know, a dusting day, a wood day, I have a um, countertop day, appliances, glass, and upholstery. Um, I also have like tasks that are done by uh, monthly, like my pay bills and uh, reminders about putting the trash to the curb, um, things like that. Those were already, you know, I chose to include those. There's different layouts you can choose. You can choose like the standard weekly layout. You can choose a vertical layout. You can, there's just a whole bunch of different options. This is just the ones I chose for my, my individual preference. And then over on the right hand side, just like the monthly, you can completely customize this as well. So I chose a don't forget section, um, a section to write in my weight loss up or down amount. Uh, agendas, things I need to remind myself to talk to my boss about, current projects for the week that I need to focus on, follow-ups uh, for things that I've delegated and haven't heard back yet, um, bills I need to pay for the week, and then over to the right, personal tasks and business tasks for the week. And then you turn the page and the same thing follows. So you have um, your holidays are always at the top and your tasks are at the bottom of the um, of the block. So, uh, like I mentioned before, if you go to the end of the week, then it switches to the month view. So now we have August in here. Okay, at the back. Once you get through all the um, months, I wanted to show you what the last few pages have. I found this a little bit unusual because I, I didn't see that it was consistent. So on the left hand side you have um, July, August, September, October, and um, I, I like it like this because it gives you an opportunity to put things that um, to either forward plan or put as birthdays. Um, I think this is the same months I have to compare between this July to see if this is actually the 2016 calendar. So let me take a look at July. July starts on the Friday the 1st. So this is 2016. Um, but here are four months worth on this side and then there's three two and three with lines in between so that part confused me a little bit i think it would make more sense to have four four and you know four on the back again so um you know and forego this extra line page uh that's just my opinion so that's another thing. Uh, and then I thought I would do a quick pen test. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these line pages out so I can show you. The paperweight feels as though it's 24 pounds, but um, these are the pens that I chose. I've got my um, standard pen that I use for everyday use, and I'm just going to um, write Agendio. And I'm totally drawing a blank. There we go. Okay. And then I will use a, by the way, this was my Friction Biz in blue uh, ink, 0.5. This is a Uniball Vision Needle. I think this is a 0.7. It says it's waterproof and fade proof. I, micro. Um, I don't know the pen tip. But we'll go ahead and write the same thing. And then I have a new uh, Inkjoy, Papermate Inkjoy Gel 0.7 in blue. And then this is a Pilot, um, or excuse me, a Petite Pilot uh, fountain pen in blue and I think this is a fine nib 
And of course, it will be, should have tested this before I started writing. And of course, it's either out of ink, so let me choose a different pen. I will choose a uh, Le Pen pen. And then we'll take a look at the other side of the page to see how the shadowing looks. So uh, when the page is down, it I can't see any shadowing, any seep through. I can see a little pressure point, but that could have been the fountain pen, me trying to write the word um, on the paper. Um, but you can see it if you hold it up to the light, but you can't see it face down on the page. So there is no bleed through on any of those four pens. Um, I actually want to try now, maybe try a Stadler Triple S Fine Liner. I'm trying to find any pen that might be off limits to the insert um, because of, you know, fading or bleed through, but even the Stadler didn't bleed, so, or shadow for that matter. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with that. So, um, I hope that uh, you found this video useful for ordering the Agendio inserts with the refill size. Hopefully we'll have some A6 size pages later this year. Um, but uh, keep your fingers crossed and uh, feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Thanks. Bye.